Yes. All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Yone in the mid lane, running Lethal Tempo, Absorb Life, Alacrity, Cut Down, Sudden Impact, and Ultimate Hunter. We're going Lethality Yone. So I'm gonna try and get an Axiom Arc later on, so when I ult in and kill people, it'll reset and I can ult again. But we'll go Collector first because it gives crit, and then I'll have 50% crit because Yone gets double crit, and then we'll go Infinity Edge, so we have 100%. And then we'll go three lethality items. Three more lethality items, at least. So we'll do a lot of damage. I won't attack that fast, but we got lethal tempo on a lethality build, so double lethal. Demons take many forms. I we gotta get a attack speed boots, too. Although Merc Treads look pretty darn healing towards their team, but I think I, think I need the attack speed boots. Just because it makes your Qs go off faster. So it'll just be more DPS anyway. Okay, we haven't missed one yet, I think. Should I try and keep the minion streak as long as possible this game? Should I actually try to, like, not miss any? I might take extra damage and stuff, but we, we can try. I mean, as soon as I miss one, I'm not going to care no more. All right, we missed one. GG. That was fun. What a gank. Yeah, Collector IE is really expensive. It's going to take half the game to get my first two items. But after I get those, I think we'll be, be making some good money. I should have took Triumph. Because last game I thought I was going to be against a Hymer, so I wanted Absorb Life to kind of heal. Ari, I don't think will poke us that much. What's cool, though, with uh, Sudden Impact is when I dash in with my Q, it does some true damage to her. Same with my E. Okay, I couldn't have dashed into that better. Nice. I even get the true damage on my W after dashing in to hit her. Well, if I'm taking a turret shot, I may as well try to get one more auto in. Damn, she's almost dead. I gotta be careful, though. There's a thing called a turret. And Yone and Yasuo like dying to the turret. Oh, their jungler's dead. Shaco found him. Uh, Ari base. Missed one. We have to do collector IE first, so no matter what. You know what? I'm actually going to stay. Other game I tried this, I went the BF sword first before boots. Attack speed boots got nerfed. They only give 25% attack speed, where if I get a BF sword first, like, it actually did some insane damage. So I just need, what, 1200 or is it 1250? BF sword. 13, okay. So, Rito nerfed ADC items pretty hard. So the ADCs, I guess, don't go mid no more. But then the mages kind of didn't get nerfed that bad, but now the mages are going bot again. So, like, where do the ADCs go? Nice little free true damage there. I have enough for that BF. have alt. She does too, though, so I can't kill her. I'm gonna die here. Well, I got the cannon. No sleep. Yeah, this guy's ganking my lane so much it feels like he's duo with me. I don't even know who he is. I guess I'll save my alt to get away if a Moomoo ganks. 
But Ari doesn't even have enough mana to ult. Or if she does, she's not going to be able to use any other ability. What's my sudden impact at? 235 true damage already. That's pretty nice. I don't know why more people don't take that on him, but... You kind of need the, the yellow tree as your main, and then second they take, like, resolve and stuff. Because they get poked. I'll get boot. This is an AP Shaco? I think so. Usually AD Shaco, the only option is Hail of Blades. Doubt breeds doubt. Fear breeds fear. And the Azakana feasts. And these Shaco ganks have kind of been like AP Shaco ganks. He just goes in and presses E. Nice, got the charm. What I could do is randomly just ult out of nowhere instead of trying to fit it in a combo. And she might not expect it. Like this. I have my E up. I probably should have waited for that. I might have her. I guess not. I don't want to die to the mummy. I think she barely lived there. I can push another wave. He's not even on the grubs. Where is he? I'm going to die now, aren't I? I need this wave for crit cloak. If I waited like a second or two longer to do that combo and I actually had E up Chaser in time, that would have been better. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough for the boots. I'm just going to grab a Crit Cloak because that's 30% chance to do a lot more damage. Oh, we do gain uh, AD for going over the Crit Cap, so we could build like a... Uh Mortal if we really need to, but I don't think I will. We'll just do... I was uh, theory crafting. Cyclosword and the Hydra will be really good. Because I can fit them both into the combo to do extra damage. They'll be bursty. But I don't want to build them before I have crit. Because it's not that great. Oh. My lane's gone. I get plating. One more. He's still down there. I'm going to be able to get another plating. I'm not going down there. I don't have boots. Well, I have one boot. Like, nothing's gonna happen down here if I go down here. I'm not going into four people that are full HP. I could just hit this turret with a grub. Three grubs. Look at that. I got... What is that? Uh, Almost 300. No, that's over 300 gold. 375 gold? 125 for each? I got over a kill for staying mid. Not even counting the minions. Oh, we're gonna do this, aren't we? Well, I lose that wave. You know what? I'm assuming Ari ulted. YOLO. Oh. Style points. Okay, she did not ult. We still got her, though. The Seraphine landed everything. That works. And we, we didn't get the dragon. They got the dragon. Did he steal it? He stole it. And back to hitting the turret. Big clear one more wave. I think she has TP up. Hello, mummy. Oh, no. You got TP. 
I'll eat him. Aha! I mean, I'm hitting really hard with this BF sword. And now we have the collector, or I could just grab the infinity edge first. That might be better. I'll just get the IE. We'll do collector second. It really doesn't matter the order for these two. The infinity edge is harder to build first, but since I had enough for it, I'm going to do it. So I got a 50% chance to do big damage. The fake. What does one do? Uh, you guys think her ult's back up? Oh my god, I tried ulting. I would have missed probably. I missed anyway. Wait, watch this. I got her. Damn it, she has ult again. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Can I Q this? Okay, she has no R. But if I get hit by a charm, I might just die. Willing to take a risk, though. Got her. I don't think she was expecting me to fly half the map to kill her on that one. And we got a crit, I think. And back to doing my favorite thing, hitting the turret. Because I'm not going near Trendomir. No, he's going to get kited. He's just going to go for me, though, if I show. He's already coming for me. I'm just trying to hit Ari with the curveball ults. I just randomly use it instead of just fitting it in with an E or a Q first because then she's going to know it's coming. But it didn't really work. But the nice thing is I do so much damage, I really don't need the ult to hit to kill. I have 211 AD. Is Shaco AD? AP. What are you doing? I have almost like twice as much AD as my AD carry. I think I do, what do I do, 10% less damage on crits or something? Oh, not nice. Oh, bro, you do not do that in front of me. If I hit Ari with that ult too, I would have got both. He got the max damage nade bounce on me. And he's like, oh, I'm just gonna ult this guy. I'm Yone, I'm going in. I'm strongest versus squishy champs. I think I'd rather have the crit cloak than the lethality. So we get bumped up to 80%. I mean, I could fight this guy. I don't really want to. But there's an Olaf in my lane now, so... Okay. He still has W. So... I gotta be careful. This guy will, like, straight up beat me. He's also gonna outheal all the damage I do to him if he hits a minion wave. I just would like to have ult to get away in case he does fight. You must fight them. Maybe he's scared of me. I mean, I should do a lot more damage than him. Oh, I got him with the E-pull. I stopped hitting him to make him think, oh, he's just going to back off now, or I have a little bit more time to ult. But then I popped him with the E. Okay, I do massive damage.
You know, skipping the attack speed boots on Yasuo Yone might be the move now, because it really, like, my damage is very high. And if I had boots, I wouldn't have an extra BF sword like I would right now. Or the Crit Cloak, I think. We've got Collector, and I think I can buy a Dagger. Please don't check this bush. Please, 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 please. That would be his ideal spot to fight me, because I wouldn't have anywhere to run. So I'd have to commit to an all-in, which I could still probably win. Oh. Yeah, he was doing good top. I don't know why he doesn't just go back up there. We could probably burst him again. He's going from my mid turret. Yeah, attack speed boot builds out of two daggers now. I just realized that. Weird. Yeah, I want the cannon as the issue here. It builds out of two daggers, but it gives less attack speed. Alright, I guess he don't want to go top. I don't know what his dealio is. He was doing good versus Trendomare. Why is Ari always bot? Yo, what the heck? I think he'd be running it, guys. That's good that he goes for Shaco, though. I'm gonna actually back out, save my Q to get away. Oh, shoot, it ran out. Because they're. Everybody that's bot lane, all those four people, or three people, they're coming. Didn't hit the Q at the end, but Collector on E is really good execute. I'm keeping Trendomir away. Oh, that didn't hit. I accidentally pressed E instead of igniting. I trolled. I could have had him. I just wasted my flash. I'm upset now. I got too excited. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's sleep before I die. <laughs> I'm I'm too excited. Okay, maybe I save the axiom till I have more lethality. I'm down to do let's see. I think it's either Hydra or Cyclosword will do more. I mean they both build out of a pickaxe and a sword. So, I was theory crafting. Since I have quite a few dashes, Cyclosword can activate two to three times in a fight, so that's like two to three hundred extra damage. And then this can activate and do two hundred extra damage. Oh, Cyclosword actually sounds better. They nerfed this. This did a lot more damage before. Forget the past. It only clouds the I don't even have to do anything. If he doesn't have flash there, he's just dead. Even if he flashed, I have ult, and I'm on top of him. What was in there? Ari charm? Alright, we're gonna need to defend top. Hopefully Olaf goes up there. He took our blue. That's... No, he has blue from everybody getting in at 20 minutes, I think. Going top. There's a mummy here. Hello, mummy. Goodbye, mummy. 
I don't want to fight a Mumu because if a Mumu's hitting me, I'm probably going to get CC'd long enough to just die. We'll go for Dragon. We really need this. I don't want them to get this one. And we really need a dragon. Oh damn, he going crazy. Somebody behind us. How does she still have dashes? Oh. Oh no, he's gonna press R on me. Okay. I thought there was trending me right here. Ah, I can't. I literally can't move. Come on, one more hit. Damn, I would have killed him if I got one more auto. But I got stunned. Ah, that sucks. Amumu was waiting for me. They must have had vision right here. Yeah, that's five seconds of CC was rough. I pretty much... I don't want to fight them when they're clumped up unless I'm hitting them all with my ult. But even if I do that, Amumu just has to press R and I'm dead. Jaina has Ignite? I almost have this. Uh, Trenimer went Armor Boots. Jin went Armor Dude, they, look at that. Four Armor Boots they went. I might... <laughs> I actually might need to buy a uh, Armor Pen. Like the uh, LDR thing. That guy didn't get to move for an hour. If Olaf splits, though, that's good. I mean, they just killed Trendemir somehow. No sleep, no rest. How did that not hit? Oh, get him, get him, get him. You have root? No, he doesn't have the root gun. We really need to kill this guy. Oh, that's... Wait. Damn, he hit the stupid, uh... He hit the box so Ari didn't pop. I don't want to get too close because he's going to ult, but... Oh, oh, officer. I didn't get an assist. I need an assist on that guy. Damn. I didn't want to get close because I thought he was going to ult. I don't know if he even ulted there. Honestly, we could just Baron. We could get a free Baron here. Okay, I'm right. Okay, Shaco wants to go, but we gotta, like, do it now. We gotta do it before Mumu gets here. I don't think their team will come. This Trendemir's bot. Okay, Olaf's going. I think we can do this before they get here. Where's Aphelios? Oh, he's here. I thought he was a shape of one. They look really similar. Armor boots aren't saving him versus me. Huge power play Baron call. Okay, instead of this Hydra... Um, I mean, we could still get... No, we could do Axiom. I kind of need uh, an LDR item, but I'll get it last. Oh, he used it on Shaco? Oh, I was scared of a move for no reason. I mean, even if he hits his Q on me, though, I'm still kind of going to get comboed, chain CC'd. All right, let's see the cycle of sword in action. I'm kind of excited for it. I like this item. It's just kind of difficult to build it on some people. Because there's always a better option sometimes, but... It actually didn't really get nerfed that much. 
What they do? Just take some. No, wait, they didn't take anything off of it. Maybe some AD? I don't think they even nerfed this item. This is a really good item. Um, I need to put a ward at their blue to see if a Moomoo's coming up. I don't see him down here, so like, yeah, there he is, man. Oh, I slowed him too. He didn't ult. Why is he not ulting? Right. See why Olaf was beating him in lane. He doesn't press R. How many minions? I wish this showed all the extra Cyclo Sword proc damage that's done. I think I get this turret, I just gotta stay in range of these cannons. Oh wait, I have a lot of money. Where did I get all this from? Okay, that time- Oh my god, what the heck? I just brought a Moo Moo to the back line. I think I beat him one of you. Oh, he's gonna hit the box. Nice. I think we win before I get the Axiom, unfortunately. The axiom. Oh, wait. Yeah. I'll just keep that mind. That was crazy. I didn't know a Moo Moo follows that far. I didn't know it worked like that. Well, we got to use the Cyclo Sword. I would have liked to have a double ult, but it be how it be. That was still a really fun game. I have another Yone game I'm going to attach to this too, though, so stay tuned if you want to see more. Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Yone in the mid lane. We're running Lethal Tempo, Absorb Life, Alacrity, Cut Down, Sudden Impact, and Ultimate Hunter. We're gonna do Lethality Yone. And I'm gonna try to ult twice because we'll get an Axiom Arc. But we'll go Collector first into Infinity Edge second. Just so we get the 100% crit. I, I try to take our chickens. And then after that, we can go just slam three to four lethality items. Might even sell my boots for one. Yeah, lethal tempo's back, so I thought I'd just take it. We're not really gonna have too much attack speed. I think I'll only have attack speed from the attack speed boots. So lethal tempo could potentially help a bit. Conquer would be good too, but I feel like if we're not attacking fast, it'll stack up slow. Nice. Sudden Impact works on my Q dash. Probably works on my E also. Alright. Well, you're under turret now. You need to leave me alone. Oh, I'm hit. We gotta be careful. Oh, she doesn't have Ignite. We don't have to be as careful. I'm about to channel my inner Int brother and get ganked by Hecarim and die ten times. Hmm. 
I mean, she's almost in kill range. Damn, I needed to hit that. That works too, I guess. With Sun Impact, an E into a W actually does like a large chunk of damage for being pretty zero skill to land. I mean, if I just Q right into her, I'm going to guarantee get hit by a root. But I think I'll still be in range to hit her. Somebody's apparently mid. Oh, I have a new new. Outplayed. Hey, there's the horse. Oh, she has no root now. Got her. If her root's down, I can just run right at her. I guess it's not going to be an inting Yone game. Yeah, we got lethal tempo with a lethality build. We have to go lethal tempo. Um, oh, okay. We either get the hard to buy BF sword first and suffer with no attack speed, or we buy the boots. Dude, I want to go BF sword. Boots got nerfed anyway. They only give 25% attack speed when I could get 40 attack damage. Everything scales with AD. So I'm going to hit a lot harder, have a larger shield, too. It is alter. I think she's just dead again. Darn, I wanted it. Is it AP, Nunu? It might be. A nerf boot. I mean, how much did attack speed did the boots have before? Was it 30% or 35%? They hit the attack speed boots pretty hard. I mean, the magic pen boots only lost. Three magic pen, right? Attack speed boots lost 10%. And don't they cost more, too? Or they cost the same? I think they reverted the cost increase. Okay, if she hits level 6... I'm gonna die. Man, we have the Kaiza curse. Every time I have a Kaiza on my team, they get, like, so stupid fed. Well, I guess I get Crit Cloak boot. An ally has been slain. On a cliff by the sea, I found the strangest spirit. It walked on four legs and spoke <laughs> I didn't know if she was going to root to try to get me off that. Steel Gale. Demons take many I, them all the same. I got a lot of damage now. I just hit pretty slow, but the thing is, all I have to do is hit the Q, then she's knocked up, and then I hit the alt, and then she's stuck again. Between Here we go. Nunu got executed. They're on dragon. Did I 
Crit. Crit. I got too many dashes. Three dashes. First zero. Oh, I just used W. Oh, I think you're dead. <laughs> I was gonna just ignite him. But I didn't think I was in range, and then I got too close. And I didn't need to. Might be in a bit of a pickle here, guys. Oh, go. I'm out. I still don't have collector. Damn, this thing is expensive. I'm just gonna get the boots. Collector got nerfed pretty hard, but I mean, it's because all the ADCs just build it, no? Kinda of strong. Do I do coaching? No. There's nothing I can really teach you other than what I'm already saying while I'm playing. And I don't like taking money from people. For a service that's not worth it. Alright, I'm a little... Little crazy here. I'm gonna die to the wolves. No sleep, no rest. I dude, I need her. Mega outplay. Yes! No! Wait. Yes! Reset her gold. I died before her, so she's worth 300 instead of 150. Worth. What's going on with Kaiza? Take a chill pill, bro. Um. Oh yeah, Infinity Edge next. Man, if this item wasn't so bad, I'd build it. But I'm pretty sure our crits are gonna end up doing more than. I mean, if this works on the queue, it'd be cool. But since they nerfed the damage of it, it doesn't scale with AD. Wild arrows would be good to slap on like a really fast attack speed build. Urgot W can't crit, can it? Who, like, attack really fast with it? Oh, but you have to crit too. You have to build crit. Which I mean, ain't too bad. Somebody with, uh, I could do a Kogma build with Quick Blades and, um, what? Quick, quick Blades, Wild Arrows, Phantom Dancer, just apply a bleed. 
It should work on Yone Q and stuff. It's just I'm not going to have any that much attack speed with this build, so I won't be able to apply it that much. Plus, I'm doing lethality, so I'm going to, like, kill them fast. So that it's kind of counters what I'm trying to do. I have not killed you yet. You want to die? He couldn't have walked in, like, a more perfect spot for me because he, uh... I was in between the two turrets, and I wasn't tanking. Alright, I'm just not gonna hit her. So I don't take turret damage. Oh my god, if I hit her one more time, she would have died. I'm gonna die to this guy. I need to run. Oh, no, he's gonna flash. Based on his positioning, he's gonna flash. Okay, maybe he's not. Oh, I'm playing a dangerous game. Oh, auto-pathing. I didn't want to go that way. I'm so dead. Oh. No. Please. Oh, there's a Nico there. <laughs> just all that just for Seraphine to get ulted. I thought he was going to ult me. It's okay. Man, I was like, if I didn't get rooted as soon as I flashed in here, I had W up in Q, I would have definitely killed Nico. Oh, I wasn't expecting the stride breaker though when I got to this bush. I thought I was in the clear. And then he hits me with the stride breaker and I knew I'm just not getting away. Well, the good news is, Garen's the only one on their team that might be moderately difficult to kill. I don't know where Hecarim is, though. We haven't seen him since level 6. So hopefully he didn't go AFK. Oh, he did go AFK. And he's duo with the mid, apparently. Damn, that sucks. Why do they always gotta go AFK when I play? The last time I just played this build, somebody went AFK, too. I think the E, yeah, just kills her there. I want to get to the lethality items of the build, but they go AFK before I even get my first item. I suppose this will be game two. Yeah, this will definitely be game two, if game one's not even long. Damn turrets. Sword. Ooh, red buff. I mean, if you got an AFK on your team, like, why are you even wasting the energy to flame other people on your team? Like, save your energy, don't waste it. You're gonna lose if you're missing somebody. It ain't anybody else's fault besides the guy that left. But I do want to kill Heimer now. God damn. Nick Siv, thanks for the five subs. That was a dirty Yone combo. <laughs> I actually got her. Oh, 
no, I can't move. Step donger. I would have died to Garen no matter what. I think we go Axiom. I don't think we're gonna make it to Axiom, but I'll build it. It doesn't build on that. Pegasus would be cool too. I got dashes to stack it up more. Could probably get it off twice, at least twice in a fight. And that's 200 extra damage, which is really good. Ooh. Psycho Sword plus this Hydra? That's just so many more things added to burst in the combo. So I'm going to build those. Let's see. I got room for Psycho Sword, Hydra, then one more thing, which could be Grudge or... I don't know. Probably Grudge. Or Edge of Night. I mean, if I get to full build on this build, odds are we're probably losing. So I need the Edge of Night. I got it again, dude. That was a long one. That one was even longer than the last one. Uh, Axiom on Teemo, I think it would just refresh like two seconds of a shroom or something. I don't know. It's so bad. We really should be pushing another lane, but I'm I'm too lazy. I got the turret. I don't want to get Varus ulted again. Well, I think I'm dead. Why is that guy taking no damage? Oh no, I would do... Um... Axiom, Cyclo Sword, and Hydra. I wouldn't even need the Grudge. I guess we gotta go top. Heimer's really good at holding turret. No way Garen can't get him. What if this game goes to 40 minutes? I mean, I don't think it's possible. We just get this top in him and then they're gonna get overrun. Baron and then, yeah, Baron's too, too much work. It's going to take forever to get everybody to go there. I want to end without getting Baron, but we might actually need the Baron. Why do I feel like this guy is going to beat me? All right, we need the Baron. Control. Stupid Varisol. I just wish they FF'd instead of wasting all this time. I did like no damage to Garen. Oh, that turret's so low.
Yeah, I can't really kill tanks. We'll end it out with Baron. Buzz, thanks for the 20 gifted memberships on the Zwagmo stream. Oh, Nixiv, did you? Got another 10 subs? Oh my. Which gave out an extra. Three subs because of your gifts. Dude, I gifted somebody 10 subs last night, and Twitch added on an extra 26 subs. Kind of crazy. But we just, like, generated extra money there. Unless it gives less money for the subs Twitch gave. I feel like it probably does. Alright. One problem down. Another one down. Ah, uh, I got the third one too. Noise. Well, if this is game two and you're watching still, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later.